Hi, uh, this is the video that I'm uh, that I made for my uh, computational photography course uh, for the midterm project. Uh, if we look at, uh, we're gonna focus mostly on the dissimilarity index, which is one of the metrics that I uh, used here to compare my images. I origi originally coded this index for a knowledge-based AI, which was another Georgia Tech uh, class that I took. Uh, dissimilarity index is basically a weighted average of the Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance, and the residual mean squared error, which are common uh, indices used for com uh, for image comparison. Now, this uh, weighted, average here, weighted average here is going to produce a number from zero, and it can go actually a little, a little bit beyond one, where zero means that the images are entirely similar, and uh, as it gets closer to one or even goes beyond that, it says that uh, the images get more and more dissimilar. Okay, so my algorithm ran here in a little bit over a minute. And if you look at the waterfall, um, they look basically the same. The top image here is my algorithm output, and the bottom is the truth image. If we look at the comparison metrics, the dissimilarity index for this, uh, for my output is 0 0.809, 0 0.809. 809, which is uh, not bad at all. We can see that the dissimilarity index approaches one very quickly. So even though the images, they look basically the same, um, the dissimilarity index is very sensitive and shows that there are uh, more difference between the, these two images than the eye can see. The best index that I got for, for this comparison here is the dolphin image, which is this one here which gives me a ratio of 0 0.34 and uh, the images they look basically the same i think actually my algorithm image looks better look at the sun here it's much clearer than at the truth image um, the worst dissimilarity index that i got was this one here and i think that's because the red here in my forward uh, bench search on is so much brighter than uh, the truth image, right? And also there are a few differences. If you look at the seams here at the bench, they don't look the same. And this accounts for a very high dissimilarity index of 1.48, but I think this is mostly due to the color. If we go and look finally at the forward seam insertion of the car, we can see there are quite a few distortions here in the image that I produced, right? Uh, the dissimilarity index reflects that at 1.08. Okay, and there are a few artifacts here. We can see at the door, right? The door looks nicer here. Well, but then that's it. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.